Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, we will talk about sequence generators. Basically, they are circuits which produces a specific repetitive pattern of bits. It means, let's take an example of one sequence, let's say 10110. It means they'll keep on generating this pattern 10110 again 10110 again 10110. So we can say this is an application of flip flops. So if I'll ask you to design sequence generator or a circuit which can generate this sequence, then first step is you need to identify how many flip flops are really required to design this circuit. So here Equation is L must be less than or equals to 2 raised to n minus 1. Here L is length of the sequence. So here length is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 and n means number of flip-flops required to design this circuit. So this is minimum number of flip-flops. So here I will put L as 5. 5 must be less than or equals to 2 raised to n minus 1. If I take this 1 to this side, this side will become 6. Must be less than and equals to 2 raised to n. So if I will put n is equals to 2, then right hand side will become 4. So this will not satisfy this condition. So if I will put n is equals to 3, then it will satisfy the condition. So n is equals to 3 here. Number of flip flops. Minimum number of flip flops are 3. We may need more than 3 flip-flops. So, first step is this. So, if I have 3 flip-flops, it means I will have 3 outputs. So, my first output is Q0. Output of second flip-flop is Q1. And output of third flip-flop is Q2. Then, what output I should get? I should get 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. 0. This is my expected output. Now, here I am designing my sequence generator using shift register method. So, shift register means data will shift. So, here this bit will come here. So, this 1 will come here. This 0 will come here. This 1 will come here. This 1 will come here. And then this 0 will go the, here. So, here in this way, this data will shift and this 0 will go to first place. Similarly, after that, again in same way, this data will shift. This 0 will come here, 1 will come here, this 0 will come here, this 1 will come here and this 1 will come here. So, these are the outputs of 3 flip-flops. Now, this is the important step. We need to identify if any state is repetitive here. So, my first state is 1, 0, 1. Am I getting same state again? 0, 1, 0 and here. So, here you can see here I have 1, 0, 1 and here also I have 1, 0, 1. So, these two states are same. If any other state is same, no. Other states are unique states. So, if... I'll find any repetition of states. Then simple rule is I need to add one more flip-flop here. So I'll add third flip-flop Q3. And again data will shift in same manner. So this one will come here. This zero will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. And this one will come here. And now we have all unique states. So these are the outputs of four flip-flops. But what about input to first flip-flop? See, output of first flip-flop will get connected to input of second and output of second to input of third. That is okay. But what about input to first flip-flop, which can also be called as feedback? So we need to identify the feedback. So for identification of feedback, what we do is we simply shift this pattern again. So this one will come here. This one will come here, this 0 will come here, this 1 will come here and then this 0 will come here. And now for this feedback, we need to find out an equation by using K-map. So total number of flip-flops are 4. So I'll have K-map which has total 16 cells 
or k map for four variables so this is k map for four variables q0 q1 q2 q3 here values are 00 01 11 10 0 0 0 0 1 11 10 0 we use gray code here then see first is 1 0 and 1 1 1 0 1 1 so 1 0 1 1 here so i'll write uh, so see here value is 0 so i'll write 0 here for this combination value is 0 so i'll write 0 here next is 0 1 0 1 and value is 1 so 0 1 and here also 0 1 see q0 q1 is 0 1 q2 q3 is also 0 1 so here and value is 1 so i'll write 1 here next is 1 0 1 0 and value is 1 so 1 0 1 0 and value is 1 this this and this three values are done next 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 and value is 0 so i'll put 0 here then next is 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 and 1 0 here and value is 1 and at remaining places, we need to put don't cares. And now next step is grouping of the variables. So here you can see we can make group of these eight cells. See, it is designer's choice to consider don't care as 1 or 0. So, feedback is equals to. Here, equation is in columns, nothing is common. Here, what is common? Q1 is 0, 1. So, we can't take Q1. Q0 is 0 here. Here also it is 0. And value is 0. So, what we can write is Q0 bar. Q0 bar. Plus, we have this one. So, what next step can be, next group can be, here you can see either we can group, make a group of adjacent ones or overlapping ones. So, if I will fold my k-map from here, then I can make group of this column with this column. So, here equation is, what is common in these two columns? Q2 is 0, 1. So, can't take Q2. Q3 is 0 and here also it is 0. So, Q3 bar. So, my equation, my feedback is equals to Q0 bar plus Q3 bar. Now, let's draw the diagram. We have four outputs, Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. So, we need to draw four flip-flops. So, we will take simple D flip-flop. So, these are four flip-flops. Here, output is Q0, Q0 bar, Q1, Q1 bar, Q2 and Q3. Here, output of first flip-flop will go to input of second, output of second to input of third and output of third to input of fourth. That's it. This is simple shift register. Then in shift register, it is a synchronous circuit. So, single external clock is connected to all flip-flops. So, I will connect single external clock to all flip-flops. So, that is said. Next is this external input that matters a lot. And we have equation for that external input and it is Q0 bar plus Q3 bar. So, what we need is OR gate. So, I will take one OR gate here. Output of that OR gate will go to input of first flip-flop. And what are the inputs to that OR gate? Inputs are Q0 bar and Q3 bar. So, I will take this Q0 bar. First input. And second input is Q3 bar. So, Oring of this Q0 bar and Q3 bar will go 
to input of first flip flop and then first flip flop will generate this sequence and then this sequence will keep on repeating so where we can find our output here we can find our output so in this way we can generate sequence any sequence so first thing is sequence generator is a sequential circuit we need flip flops to design sequence generator first step is to identify number of flip flops and these are minimum number of flip flops we may need more than this number next is you need to write your sequence here you need to shift your sequence after shifting you need to check whether any step is same or number of state are same or different then you need to find out the input for that you need to draw a k map and then from the k map you will get an equation for first flip flop and then simply you will have to shift the sequence applications of sequence generator are in pattern generation in pseudo random sequence generator uh, in data scrambling in encoding then in test pattern generation in vlsi so thank you so much for watching this video if you think this video is useful then don't forget to like share and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much